Hi friends, I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome to another Collage With Me video. This time we'll be creating in the soft cover art journal that I call my quote art journal. I've used it before in a previous Collage With Me video and I will link that video in the description box below if you're interested in taking a look. In this video, I'll be adding the quote, leap of faith to this journal. Technically, it's a saying, not a quote, but it's one of my favorite nonetheless. So let's get into the supplies we'll be using today. So let's go over the supplies. Uh, first, it's paper to write the quote on. I like to do that separately and then collage it into the journal. And I cut myself a couple of extras just in case. I'm going to use bleeding tissue paper as the collage materials. Uh, watercolors. These are my colors that I'll be using for the quote. Um, yellow, green, and it's hard to see, but this is actually turquoise. So the, I pulled this bleeding tissue paper to coordinate with the watercolor. And I also brought out some matte acrylic paint. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, but I may need it for some details if it need if it's needed on the page. Back here, a uh, glue stick is always good to have on hand. Matte medium. And this is what I use to adhere the bleeding tissue paper to the page instead of glue stick. Glue stick would probably tear the tissue paper. Scissors, good to have on hand. Paint brushes. Um, this one's for the matte medium and this one is for the watercolor. Pens. Um, I'm going to use that to write the quote. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use a thin black marker or a thick, thicker one to write the quote. And then I brought out a white marker just in case, again, for detailing. I like to have options if I need to go back in and add details to the page. Paper towels, water jar. I like you having an extra piece of paper to put behind the page in the journal that I'm working on. I'm trying to avoid getting even any wet materials on the other pages in the journal. And I'm going to talk more about this later, but I have the quote already written on some tracing paper and I have a little bit of transfer paper. So I'm going to use that to transfer onto the paper that I'm going to use for the quote. So let's get started getting the quote onto the piece of paper. Okay, one thing before we get started, I wanted to show you the process I went through to come up with the design for the quote piece. So let me show you in my sketchbook and mark that page. So it started as just block lettering and then one cursive word, which is of, but it looked too symmetrical. And I didn't like that there was space in between here, the word of. So then I went with more of a cursive style. It was nice, but as I put in my little notes, not really my style. So then I came down here and what I did was compact or condense the letters in the two by two square. And I like that better. And I like that there's variety of the letters, this lowercase and uppercase, and the little cursive of. So I went with that and I refined it a little bit more. Then I started playing with colors to see if I liked the lettering having color. And then I tried the opposite, having the ground having the color, and then coming back in with black and white to define the letters. So I kind of like this, um, still on the fence about the white, but that's something I can decide after we do the initial piece. So let's get started. The next step is to paint our piece of paper that we're gonna put the quote on. So I have my three colors of watercolor, and I'm just going to go ahead and probably not talk you through it because I'm just going to do an ombre effect on this. Thank you. 
I'm going to let this dry and then we're going to come back in and transfer our lettering to this piece of paper. Now that our paint is dry, I'm going to take our lettering that's on this tracing paper and I'm going to transfer it using the transfer paper. So if you haven't used transfer paper before, I want to just explain that there's a side where that has kind of a graph. This one has graphite. And then you'll see that the other one is more of just, say, like a tissue paper. So you want to make sure that the side that has the graphite on it is the side that you put down on the piece of paper you want to transfer your lettering to. that the camera will pick it up that you'll see the outline of our lettering you don't want it too dark um, but this paper, transfer paper does come in different colors I'm using the graphite so it's easy for you to see the lettering so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my sharpie and I'm going to just start filling in the lettering Now that the black lettering is done, I do see that I need to come back in with the white pen to add some details. The words aren't as easy to read as I had hoped with just the black pen. So I'm just going to put a little bit of details and then it will be done. I like the look of the white details, so the next step is putting the whole collage together in the art journal. So we'll do that next. We're at the final stage of putting everything together. I have our quote, some bleeding tissue paper. We have matte medium to adhere the bleeding tissue paper. Brought out a glue stick for gluing the quote. I also have the matte acrylic paint, just in case we need to add some details, scissors, jar of water, brush for the matte medium, paper towels, and a piece of paper to put behind the page we're working on to protect the other pages in the journal. What I'm going to do is bring you in closer and we'll get started.
This is our finished page, and I'm happy with the way it turned out. I'm glad I went back in with the yellow matte acrylic paint to add the dots. It adds a nice bit of interest. I like how the bleeding tissue paper has the nice variation of color. I like this overlap area with the green and the purple. That's very nice. I like how the quote stands out as the focal point. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with this. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye now.